So you did it. All your hard work has paid off. Your research was impeccable. Your focus point has helped you to be an overachiever and build a great business. All the money that you ever had was poured into this vision and dream. You picked the location, city, and a great state to do business in, yeah. That's something to be proud of your dream has come true. You are the talk of the town. No doubt. Shining like new money. Greater than any other Fortune 500 dollar company, and exploding within market cap extending over 70 billion dollars, and counting. With no end in sight. Built from the ground up, and to say the very least. Some of the greatest management team on the planet work for you. So with a poker hand like this, who could dare complain, but we all know sometime looks can be deceiving. Your day, today meeting, with staff, might not provide you with some of the day-to-day -day problems that need to address. Because, an unsolved problem today, can become your worst, nightmare tomorrow. So daily meetings, will keep you current, and make it your business to asking about how we can make the employees trust us more and provide the right tools for them to work safe and sound. Rule number one. Hard workers, can't tolerate, slackers, however as the CEO of your own company, you will be the last one to know, who your top notch workers are. The only exception, to this rule, if your company have, a production standard. This is the key to know who can get the job done, and this benchmark will help you weed out slackers. These employees, also known as hard workers will give you a lifetime of good service and truly increase your revenue. However there is also a downside to hard working employees. Slackers will kill their good working ethics over the long haul. They will start to really think about how the slacker is constantly getting away with murder. For a company to truly thrive, there must be balance. The supervision and oversight over the employees must be well focused. And confrontation must not be overlooked. Failure to do so will leave your company with high turnovers. Trust me at a blink of an eye, you will be losing good employees day in and day out. Your slackers also known as non-workers, will be faithful and stay for a long time. Because they are the ones that's getting a free paycheck, without even breaking a sweat. This is a curse, to your company, and good workers. Rule number two. Never, neglect, to reward those who put in their time, and hard work. Nobody works hard, without the expectation of making more money of moving up the corporate ladder. And if you deal with a slack hand, just be prepared to lose a good worker. It has been said one monkey don't stop no show. But, I will be the first to say, sometime, that one monkey is the center attraction of the whole show, therefore it's money in the bank. So let's wrap this subject up. Please and again, I will say please, don't nickel, and dime, key people in key positions. Yes, everyone can be replaced. However time might not be on your side to replace that outstanding employee. Words to the wise, some workers are just there for a paycheck, other take pride in doing a very good job because of their pride. And let's not forget those who are willing, to go the extra mile for a career and stature at your company. Rule number three mindset is everything. As a business owner, you must give your company 110% of your time. The most easiest thing to do, if it's your passion, is to start a business. Trust me, however it's a long and painful process, to build a great business. These are facts and not fiction. Timing is so important, and with patience and good judgment you can make it work. However when making a cake it takes more than flour, butter and milk. Our focus, is to build a tasty treat and to overwhelm our sampler's taste buds. This indeed takes some knowledge about our material that we will be implementing in our recipe. And remember this framework is to be applied to our business the cake just serve as an example. So now it's time to build a good framework. Like making a cake, there are some basic items you must have on your checklist. Building a successful business is no different. For example we can make a cake, more sweeter by adding more sugar. And we can also give our employees more money to live a better lifestyle, through their hard work and dedications a sweeter pot, for a better lifestyle for them will promote longevity for us also. Always remember, you got to pay to play. All flowers is not created equal, or sugar, butter, or milk. Just remember, you get what you're paying for. On another note, employees make these statements day in, and day out, good paying, jobs are hard to find. 
but you must also understand your employers also have their own sayings. Hard workers are hard to find. Believe me, both statements are weighty, and hold, true. It's almost time to bring this video to an end. Rule number 4. The one million dollar secret, that will keep your company growing with a healthy workforce is having a dynamic HR department. You can have the greatest pay scale on the planet. But at the end of the day all employees are looking to be treated fair and equal. And let me make this very clear, those who are looking for favors is the ones who do the least amount of work. By holding everybody to the same policies and procedures. Lawsuits, will not consume your place of business. And yes indeed one bad apple will spoil the whole lump. This is a message, from Fusion Power, your one stop solution. From paper to reality. Subscribe to this channel and hit that bell. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up.